Uh, this is Architecture Review, and um, I haven't really talked about my, my songwriting process that much, um, but a lot of times I, I record a melody in my phone uh, on the voice notes, and I go back um, sometimes months later, sometimes a year later. There's, you know, it's weird, unless I sometimes you get a really compelling melody and you're like, I gotta get, I gotta write this like right now, you know, it's ASAP, but, um, usually it's like, okay, you know, I may or may not revisit that. But anyway, I always remember, um, when I think about this song, I, I remember exactly where I was when the melody came to me. I was actually walking down, um, that'd be, uh, 9th Avenue. Um, no, it's ten, that's 10th Avenue, yeah, because yeah. I've been at the Beacon Theater, and I saw Damien Rice, and I was walking back downtown, and, um, it was a great concert, Dam Damien Rice is one of my favorite songwriters, easily, every time he's in New York, I try to go to his shows, and, uh, the show was great, he's doing really cool things with a looper, stepping on a looper, and, you know, it was really, really, really cool stuff, um, but, yeah, boom, like, um, not really thinking about writing a song myself, um, this melody comes in my head, and, uh, something about the song, um, some of my songs come to me, and I, because I'm not in a band, I, I, they just don't get, um, interpreted by myself the way they initially are, are there, <laughs> and, uh, th this is one of those, because this really came to me as a folky 60s folk song, which is weird, because I don't listen to a ton of, of that, but think kind of like um, Simon and Garfunkel a little, yeah, or Paul, or Paul, Paul Simon maybe. But especially the um, the second part, where did we go wrong? We lived on Jane's song all summer long. Like in my head, I was like, where did we go wrong? With like, <laughs> we lived on drinking song all summer long, and bliss was ours. Uh, and the song that eventually resulted with me and just my acoustic guitar. It's a little. It's a little more of a kind of slower burn, um, but like you know, I, I was thinking about it like that, like a very like early '60s or mid '60s uh, folk uh, recording. Um, and when those ideas come to me, they just you know those, those whether it's that detail, it, it really is hard to translate it because I don't even really play. I mean, if you've been watching this far, you see like I, I don't really play. I play hard, <laughs> which I guess is a limitation, um, but in terms of like really finessing the fretboard and finessing uh, the strings and kind of getting a very specific sound, I, I guess um, that's, you know, lighter, um, you know, kind of, kind of more, um, you know. I have a very guttural aesthetic as a song, as a songwriter and a musician, um, which is funny. It is okay, um, but yeah, I do have those other ideas that come to me, and maybe one day they can be fully developed um, into being like that kind of song. Just, you know, but this is the song that is, um, and it's called the Architecture Review. Inside the neon dream Beside the fantasy of all I've seen The architecture of you Eludes me Under the purchase scene Where propaganda plays for both teams the catacombs of you call to me well within the white screen sanctifying the machine the mirage of you dissatisfies me hey you're gone did I know you? Hey, time is a bomb And if I loved you, did I show you? Where did we go wrong? We lived 
on drinking some all summer long and bliss was ours how was I to know it was the part of the show where the lovers aren't allowed to know so the audience feels power over characters with desires desires with reasons reasons with conditions conditions with consequences consequences with questions like hey you're gone and did I know you hey Time is a bomb And if I loved you Did I Show you Stay, stay, stay Please don't leave Can't leave me I need you I need you I need you, I need you, I need you.